What's up guys, Marwan from MarwanFitnessCom with an update for week one with the, the Monty Protein Challenge. On the whole, training and nutrition both went pretty well. Training wise, lots of good pumps, lots of serotonin, lots of DOMS, especially after the higher volume days. Nutrition wise, four meals a day, two meals with protein and fat, one meal with protein and veg and one meal with protein and carbs after the workout. During non-training days, no carbs, but four meals with protein and fats. The reason for keeping the carbs low is to encourage a process called lipolysis, which is, is a fancy word for fat burning, and also allow the body to use fats instead of carbs for energy, which helps fat loss even further. For the next week, I'm going to be increasing my meals, so I'm going to be having two meals with carbs on the lunch on the training days and one meal with no carbs on the training days i've on the non-training days beg your pardon but last week i felt that possibly i reduced the carbs a little bit too much and i was feeling rather tired after some of the workouts and the next day as well uh, that was especially evident after on on the rest days so on the on the next on the next training day after the rest day, I felt rather lethargic and not as motivated to go and uh, train. If that makes sense. So as you know, if you haven't recovered from the training, then you don't build muscle. So I'm going to make sure that this week, with the increase in volume, I'm going to be increasing my calories and my carbs to try and recover better than I did last week. In terms of supplements, um, I'm only using the basics, BCAAs, during the beginning of the workout, uh, which will be increased to during the workout and beginning of the workout. Uh, Vitargo, which is a carb drink, fish oils and a protein shake. Cardio-wise, I'm not going to be doing any cardio for, the, for this week. I feel that with the diet that I'm doing, the training split, and the higher volume of the workout, I'll be able to lose the last, the last bit of fat that I want to lose whilst building muscle at the same time. If I want to, to if I feel that I'm not losing enough fat towards the end of the six weeks, around about week three to four, then I'll add one day of high intensity tra interval training after the workout and possibly have one on my off days, one day of uh, one, one cardio session. But I don't think that'll be necessary. In terms of training splits, I'm gonna be doing three days on, two days on, two days off. Sorry, three days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, which is a higher volume training split. Allows the muscles to be hit minimum every four days. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And we'll be bringing you more updates during the week. Take care now.